Guys, YouTube got me. YouTube banned me for a week if you are new here, and I'm actually redoing this video right now. Editing my client's video part three. This is a highly requested video, and I think YouTube took it down because there was too much sauce in the video, so I'm gonna have to dumb down the sauce a little bit in this video. But anyways, guys, all jokes aside, if you are new here, my name is Ryan. I help other editors in DaVinci Resolve get better, teaching them my ways. If you guys want to learn how to edit faster, click the first link down below and check out all my products that help you save time while editing in DaVinci Resolve. But anyways, we're going to hop in DaVinci Resolve right now. All right, guys, so today we have a special video. This is not like no other video you guys are going to be seeing. Simply for the fact of the matter, he didn't give me a straight up video that he filmed. He told me to scavenge his YouTube and find a clip. So that's exactly what I did here, guys. I have this YouTube video right here loaded up, and this is the exact video I'm going to be using in order to edit the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll and scrub through this 10 minute YouTube video. And this is the part of being an editor that this is like. Now guys, before we get into this video, I want to let you know that this is going to be very raw and authentic. And the products that I'm going to be using in this video are the creator bundle first link down in the description. But, but. So we're going to start it right there. Um, and I actually already edited this video, but I'm redoing it for you guys. All right, guys, time out. So actually, I forgot to do something since this is for short form content. I feel like I always do this and I need to just stop doing it because it's a bad habit. But um, I leave it like like for YouTube style videos, but I don't know why I do that. So I'll hit command nine and come and hit use vertical resolution. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to how far I think the clip will be. So for the ones that have seen success already, you know, even, even if it's small, like take your first tank here, come on. So I don't think it'll be, I think we're just gonna stop there. So then you come to the video, you come to smart reframe and you just hit the auto reframe. Just let DaVinci do its thing. It'll make sure that he's in the center throughout the whole time. Now, if you don't find your subject in the center the whole time, then I'll show you another way you could do, but you come over here to the smart reframe and there's this drop down menu. I can't show you cause this is auto, auto reframing right now, but you hit the drop down menu and it, and it has a, a reference point. So you can hit the reference point and it'll bring up a little box and you can just put it around him and then reframe it and then it'll actually show you what's going on. All right, now, as you can see, it just makes sure that he's in the center the whole time. The reason why you're stuck, the so, reason why you're stuck is because you give in too easily. So there's this, so there's this saying that momentum is never, Never taken away, but it's only momentum is never, never, never taken away, but it's only given up, but it's only given up. And that is very, very true. Even if it's small, if you close your first, or not close your first, uh, you book your first sales call, um, you know, and, and even stuff like take your first tank here for month, that, that is not a time for you to stop. That is not a time for you to let off the gas. And you know, because if you, because if, if you, if you, you know, give up, you know, give up your momentum, it's gonna be really, really hard to get it back up again. Okay, cool. We'll delete it there. That looks good to me. We're gonna highlight these and create a new compound clip. Oops, highlight all of them. New compound clip, we're gonna name it Jam2. We're gonna make sure that this is on mono. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the audio and turn it up to like 10. The reason why you're stuck is because you- Okay, now the secret sauce. We're gonna double click on the music page and go to export audio files, export it. Now, for those of you who are out there who think that, who genuinely believe that DaVinci Resolve's auto vo voice isolation is better than Adobe's, you guys aren't ready for that talk. Adobe Podcast AI, this is not even a sponsor either. It's just way better than using DaVinci's. It's just, it's just not as good. Like you just turn it on and, it, and it, like some of the words get cut out. I know it's not perfect. It'll probably be better in the future, but right now it's not that good. So why would I not, why would I use the better? Why would I not use the better version? The reason why you're stuck is because way better. Now we just drop this bad boy in and we can listen to the difference. The reason why you're stuck is because you give in too easily. 
think that momentum is never oh my goodness it's so much better so double click link the click. reason why you're stuck is because you give in too easily there's a saying that momentum is never taken away but it's only given out the ones that have seen success already even all right now we're going to do a color grade so i'm gonna come here and i have this really cool film looking let thingy mcbobber um, i'm gonna turn that down now before you guys flame me for my color grading let me mind you that I'm doing an inspirational type TikTok here. It's supposed to be like, the reason why you're stuck with like the, the, the cool music in the background. So, all right guys, so now that you have the video all complete, we're gonna grab what's called some noise. This kind of just will make the video look a lot better. Um, so we're just gonna duplicate this over by holding option and just scrolling. And then that way we have it looking like that. Now, one thing I forgot to do is just you have to come down to the composite mode on all these and hit screen. So now we have something like this. Now you can kind of the general direction of where we're going to go with this video. All right, so I'm going to come over to my effects panel and I have these effects preloaded on here um, just to save time. So I have an adjustment clip on this clip right here. And then the, all I did was I just put applied magic zoom, as you can see on the title right here, which is completely free. Everyone knows what magic zoom is. I'm just going to do it about right there. Come to the effects and do just hold and zoom out. So that way it looks something like this, zooms out like that. Now the only thing that we are gonna do that's just scale it in a bit more so it zooms the reason, out. The reason why you're, why you're, why you're, why you're, why you're. But we're gonna end it there instead. So it'll look something like this. It instantly zooms out like that. The reason why you're stuck is because, the reason, okay. the reason why, you're you're stuck because we because all right and then right here i'm probably i'm gonna grab this preloaded text effect i have on here so you give it because you and essentially what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna type out you give in too easily so I'm gonna zoom this in just like that, and then we're gonna put this right here, just like so. You give in too easily. There's a saying that. And we're gonna cut it right there. Now, what we're gonna do is come into the Fusion page with the you give in too easily, and we're gonna simply add, so this is like preloaded effects that I already have on the, on the clip itself. This is how I got the text to look like that, so. When I'm gonna go to the template, I'm just gonna hit a shift space and search for a glow. Now you're gonna see the glow is a little tense. So on glow number two, I'm gonna come over here and hit this rectangle masking looking thing. So I'm gonna bring this up here, size it down to where it looks like that. Come to the inspector and just change the angle to look something like that. And then we're just gonna turn the soft edge up and then scrum it through your footage and you can kind of see where we're going with this. It's just gonna be a glow text effect. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in like a few frames ahead because I know that my clip is going to be, it's going to be coming up or it's going to be coming down, whatever, it's going to animate. So I'm going to hit a keyframe at frame 20 and then go to like frame 30 to finish off the, the actual glow. So now we have that. Now you can see we have a glow effect. If we come back in you here. You give in too easily. You can see. You give in too easily. You see the glow effect, right? So <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click and make this a compound clip. Now using the first link in the description, this is in the creator bundle. We're gonna go to effects and we're gonna search for pre-animate. So for pre-animate, I'm just gonna hit down and up. So as you can see, it goes down, it animates down for me, just like so after applying the effect. Because you give in too easily. So you as you can see, too, it comes down easy. and then the glow like goes away. Like this, easily. And then the clip cuts right here. So, so I'm cutting that clip there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my effects and I have these, these transition overlay type looking things. Um, super cool transitions. As you can see, it comes in just like that. So it goes like that. But what we're going to do here is we're going to grab in magic zoom again, but this time we're going to bring it into where it already automatically starts zooming in like this. So zooms in. And we could even put it before as well, like honestly. So you give in too easily, zooms in. We could even do a little bit more too. So you give in too easily. This is saying that momentum is saying. Okay, so right here, we're gonna cut this, delete that, come over to effects and just who hold or zoom and hold this time. So 
cuts like that. And actually right here to, to sell this effect, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna go use some sound effects. Um, these sound effects are also in the creator bundle. The creator bundle is a crazy bundle. It's, it's, it's so worth it. But anyways, I'm gonna come over here and grab my favorite, which is just this paper, uh, paper effect, sound effect, whatever. We're gonna turn this down a lot because of the music that we wanna add. Um, and then I'm just gonna to do that with fade the edges in. Easily. There's this. There's easily. And you don't want it too loud, so. Easily. There's this saying that. So that's probably there's perfect. There's this saying. There's this. Okay, cool. There's a saying that. Momentum is. Okay, and then right here for momentum, we're gonna grab the noise that I previously mentioned again, but this time we're not gonna do overlay. We're gonna keep it like this. It's gonna be a black screen with a couple of noise flares going all over the place, you know, whatever. Momentum is never taken away, but it's only given out. The ones that have seen six given out, the ones given up other. Okay, so for this one, now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna grab an actual text. We're gonna do text plus, bring this onto the timeline, and I'm gonna hit E. I'm gonna do this font right here. This font is so fire. This font right here, and then I'm actually just gonna zoom it up just like so. And I'm gonna do mo min um ne never or take take it away. But but it's only. Give it or not. Another one. Okay, so we typed out the what we're gonna do. So momentum is, is, is never, never, and for never, I'm actually gonna make this red by doing that. For take, take it. You know what? And then for taking away, we're gonna split it up just like Wait, so. But, but it's. And then we're gonna do two dots like that. But it's only only, only given 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 up up. And then for given up or for given, we can do red again. Just momentum like so. is never or momentum is ne never never take. And now, now we're gonna do a crazy cool little text file to kind of sauce this up a little bit. So, for taken away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Fusion page and we're gonna search for a transform and we're gonna do the second one, so right there. On frame zero, I'm just gonna take this completely down, do the pitch just a little bit, the yaw. No need for the yaw, honestly. The height, for sure, the width gets taken down. And yeah, that's probably good. And then probably just a little bit more like of the pitch back. So on the frame that you started on, we're gonna hit a keyframe on position Y, width, height, and pitch all at the same time. And we're basically just gonna come to the end on frame 31, and we're gonna put everything back to completely normal. So boom, boom, boom. Okay, now if we play that, it looks like that. Now it doesn't look the greatest, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to our spline and while holding Command A, we're just gonna simply double click and do Ease and then do Out Cubic. So now I have something like that, okay? Now last thing is we're gonna come back to the template on frame zero, go to Shading and under Opacity, we're gonna turn it down like so and then just hit a keyframe and as it comes up to the end, now we have something like that and it fades up, it looks super cool. And then also for a way, we can do a way looking like that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is come to the Fusion page under template, go to shading, and we're gonna turn the opacity to this one down, hit a keyframe, go one frame, go all the way back up two frames, go back down one frame, up one frame, down one frame, up. Now we have something like this. Or take it away, but it's take it away, but it's only given enough. Only get. And then for given, we're gonna do the same exact text effect that you guys just learned. Come to shading, go to frame zero, turn this down, hit keyframe, go one, back up, two, down, one, up. Just like that. Only given up. The ones that have only given up. Alright, now. 
what we're going to do is we're going to copy this first effect over just like so and we're gonna zoom it out just like that. And what we could do here is honestly, we could add another transition if we wanted to, but we don't have to. Now, let me make this note that we are gonna keep this simple because it's still a motivational style TikTok. That's why, that's where this text take effect away, comes in. Give it, take. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna make this be, sound a little better. So. I have a small swoosh that I don't even want to really use, but I just want to use the beginning. So right before it gets super loud, turn that bad boy down. So take it away. Or it's on. So like this. Take it away. And then for here, I'm going to grab this mouse click thing, which is also in my sound effect pack, but I'm not going to be using it for what you guys probably think, but we're going to just do this one sound effect in the beginning. So I'm gonna do it right there. And I'm gonna go one more frame, two frames this time, and then one frame, and then do it again. So it sounds like away, but so it'll sound something like this. And we're gonna group highlight these and turn them down to like four, and then also turn the volume down like that to like 10 potentially. Wait, but wait. Way, but it's way, but it's Okay, it does sound a bit doo doo, so I'm gonna turn the semitones down even more, and then the the volume down even more. Way, but it's only way. We'll probably turn it to like 15. Way, even though you can't really hear it, so we're gonna turn it up. Way, but it's way. So probably like four to then I guess. Way, but it's way, but. Okay, that sounds good. So now this is what we sound like. Or take it away, but it's only given other. Okay. It's very subtle. And when you put the music in, some people might not even catch it just because they are watching on the phone with the volume down, whatever. There's sudden things in editing that makes the video the video. Or take it away, but it's only give never take it away, but it's only given up other. And then for here I genuinely think I'm just gonna take this camera sound effect. What was that? Well, I don't like that one. I like this one, actually. Yeah, this one. So put this in the middle, turn it down a whole bunch, and then just grab your next overlay type transition and just turn that bad boy to screen. So now we have something. Now the, like ones that. That have, the ones that have seen success already, you in success already, even if it's small. That is not a time for you to stop. That and then right here, we're gonna do another thing of magic zoom. Not a time for, a time for you to let off the gas. It's anything, thing. And that it. So right here, he says step on the gas. I'm gonna end my magic zoom there, so it comes out like this. And then I'm gonna hold Option and bring this noise back over to where he says step, step on, on the, gas the gas further. further. Because. Further. And then right when he says because, we'll bring it back out further because. And then we're going to bring this magic zoom, shorten it up a bit, put it about there. For momentum, it's going to be really, really, it's going to be really, really hard to get it back up again. Okay. Then for this noise, we're going to do the same thing. So instead of wasting time, we can just hold option and bring this text back over and then take this out just like so. Step on the gap. Step on, on the, the gap. Uh, on, on the, on the gap. Gas for, for okay. So step gas and for gas we'll do green and then this one further. So step on the gas further. All right, and then for this one we're gonna go into the fusion page, hit shift space, and do a transform again. Make sure you do the second one, and then for this one we're not gonna move the position Y or X. We're just gonna do. A little zoom in effect so we're going to turn the zoom completely down the width like so and then the height like so just to make it really really weird looking and then the pitch now we're going to hit a keyframe on the zoom width height and the pitch and we're going to go to frame 21 probably and just turn everything back to normal so boom, and maybe even you could zoom it in just a little bit more. So now we have something like this, looks very 
linear, because it is. So hit zoom to fit, command A, double click, ease, do out cubic. Now, now you'll see it looks like that. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and under transform, search for a quick glow and pull it out like that. Get a tiny glow to the effect so that it's looking really- The gasp, the gasp. For all right, and then for further, you can already guess what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same little ch -ch 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 effect. So come to shading um, on frame one, turn your outline or your opacity down there, one frame above, back to zero, two frames down, one frame up, one frame down, one frame up. Okay, and you don't need to you need to smooth those keyframes out. Further, so. further because boom. It's further because it's further. All right, and then now we're gonna do is take that same little sound effect riff thing that we did down here. We can hold option and scroll. It's about the same length. We're not gonna copy it. We just wanna make sure that it sounds similar. Further. Further. Okay. Sounds good. Um, we're just gonna turn it down even lower and then turn this down high up, up a little more. Further. Okay, maybe down a little bit more. Okay. Further, because if okay. you give up your momentum. Perfect. Further, because if you give up your momentum, it's gonna be really, really hard to, really hard to get it back up again. All right, perfect. And guys, I think that's all I'm gonna do for visual effects. Now, there are a few more things we need to do to really spice this up. But right now, I'm gonna go on my TikTok on my phone and Shazam an audio sound, motivational type sound, so I can figure out the song name and I'm gonna import it onto my video and I'm just gonna go through sounds that I save. So if I'm ever on TikTok, all I do is I'm just scrolling and if I see a sound that I like, I'm just gonna save it because I know that I'm gonna wanna use it in a later video or something like that if I have an idea, whatever. If I don't use it, oh well. But sometimes you can't transfer the, the audio to your computer so you have to Shazam it and then find the audio on your computer through YouTube. The reason why you're stuck is because all right, this is the song I decided to go with. As you give in too easily. There's a saying that momentum is never taken away, but it's only given up. The ones that have seen success already, even if it's small, that is not a time for you to stop. That is not a time for you to let off the gas. If anything, that is the time to step on, on the gas further. Because if you give up your momentum, it's going to be really, really hard to get it, really hard to get it, to get it back up again. Okay. I like it. I think it needs to have one thing added to it. So on track audio five, I'm gonna to come to the audio page, go to number five, double click, and I'm gonna hit band six and just bring this down to about 600, 700 to give it like an underground kind of effect. The reason why you're stuck is because- Now you can hear it, it sounds way better. You give in too easily. Success already, even if it's small, that is not a time for you to stop. That Okay, we're going to turn it down just a tad bit more to 22. That is not a time for you to let off the gas. If anything, that is the time to step on the gas further. Because if you give up your... Okay, honestly, I think that's good. Now the only thing we have to do is timeline, create subtitles, and then we're going to do 10 minimum characters, create that bad boy, and I'll see you guys when they're done. So the only thing I'm doing here is just taking out all the stuff that overlaps... So like, obviously right here, it just overlaps. The ones that, the ones that have seen success are right, right, small. That is not a time period. So like right here to step, so we're gonna cut it there. And then make sure you take out this little step right there. Step, step. step. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to add my snap captions bin to my master, go to workspace, script, comp, snap captions, and then I have Jeremy preloaded, remove the punctuation, and go to lowercase, and then generate the snap captions. Now that I have the snap captions, I'm just going to double click and create a new compound clip, and the reason why I'm doing this is simply because I want the text right there under his chin, just like so. And then the last final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these effects, and all I'm simply gonna do is make sure I'm at the end and scroll up one. That's it, I, I tried to do one, but I, it wouldn't let me. And then all I'm doing is I'm bringing these captions down. And that makes where to the, if it zooms out, the captions zoom out with it. 
Now add just a few more sound effects, a few more tweaks, and this is what you have. The reason why you're stuck is because you give in too easily. There's a saying that momentum is never taken away, but it's only given up. The ones that have seen success already, even if it's small, that is not a time for you to stop. That is not a time for you to let off the gas. If anything, that is the time to step on the gas further. Because if you give up your momentum, it's going to be really, really hard to get it back up again. Thank you guys for watching this video today. I hope you guys learned this, and I, I honestly, YouTube, I hope hope you didn't take this down because I'm trying to give these other editors the sauce. Give me a break, YouTube. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please support me. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff you know what to do. Check out the creator bundle down below. First link in the description. It's its price for one pack right now. But anyways, guys, peace out. Enjoy your day. Have a blessed day. Peace.